Elizabeth, please, it's me, Michael! No! Late one night, a technician at Circus Baby's Pizza World makes their rounds through the dark, underground facility. The animatronics had been rented out for a kid's birthday party earlier that day, but they'd been acting weird ever since. All right, Freddy, Foxy, Laura. guess what, y'all all get the scoop tonight. Oh, don't give me that look, come on. If you guys didn't act so creepy all the time, we wouldn't have to do this. Wait, 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 just wait. No, 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 wait, stop, stop! <laughs> You've probably heard of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's become somewhat of a local legend after countless employees and patrons of the restaurant went missing. <laughs> Furthermore, the establishment's mascots began to act weird. <laughs> Today, though, the pizzeria's once beloved mascots have been dismantled and left to rot. It was over. To most, the horrifying events of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza were simply a bad memory, destined to be forgotten. However, unbeknownst to most, there was still one Afton Robotics location in full operation. Circus Babies. Unlike the other locations, the Pizza World wasn't actually a pizzeria. It was more like a home base for the traveling animatronics, a place for them to undergo maintenance and upgrades between performances. It wasn't open to the public, and thus a lot of corners had been cut in regards to the building's safety and design. Employees could show up to work, be guided through their tasks by a robot, and leave all without ever encountering another human being. Nobody ever saw the management or the owners or anyone really. However, customers continued to rent out the animatronics and the paychecks kept coming in, so the employees continued to show up for their shifts. Unfortunately, recent events had left a position vacant, and thus, for the first time in years, a new hire needed to be brought in to take their place. No one could have guessed that this new hire would be Michael Afton, the prodigal son of Circus Baby's Pizza World's missing founder, William Afton. There's no doubting what you've achieved on a technical level. These are clearly state-of-the-art. There are just certain design choices that were made for these robots that we don't fully understand. We were hoping that you could shed some light on those. She can dance. She can sing. She's equipped with a built-in helium tank for inflating balloons right at her fingertips. She can take song requests. She can even dispense ice cream. With all due respect, those aren't the design choices we were curious about, Mr. Afton. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. Yeah, exactly. It was a dare. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. Why do I have to enter my name if you already know it? It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. That's not what I typed, but You can whatever. now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. Well, you don't have to be a dick about it. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success, and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day, and it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring uh, back in her step. Okay. Jesus! Let's check the light again. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. 
Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Uh, alright. Well, that was super effective. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job! Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. What is it with these vents? Motion trigger. Circus Gallery vent. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. What was my father's obsession with controlled shocks? There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. I don't what recognize the you. You are new. I remember this scenario. However, it's a strange thing to want to do to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this, willingly. When your guide comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. She will catch you. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you and can only listen for your movement. She is growing near, listening for you. Be still. Please subscribe unless you hate this puppy or this kitten, in which case you don't have to subscribe. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. Motion trigger, breaker room. You may now interface with the breaker control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Whoa, it's like a White Freddy with a Bonnie puppet?
What a weird robot. Well, hello again! <laughs> Are you ready for round two? Ready or not, here I come! Great job. This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Michael's first night at Circus Baby's Pizza World hadn't gone especially well, but he survived somehow, and he went home to relax. The nights would only grow more horrific from here on out. Another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down. What does it matter? <laughs> you know, these you two need kind to be part of your life. I'm an old man, Clara. Hmm. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time! It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. What's the deal with all these goddamn vents? It's like they designed this place for rats! Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings, and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. Nothing about this job is easy. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. For clarification, please note that I am referring to Freddy's right, not your right. Good job. The faceplates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. 
Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Great job. You've acquired both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. There was something off about this place. By now, Michael was no stranger to his father's bizarre creations, but this was something else. The robots didn't just seem possessed, they seemed alive. I mean, Circus Baby was straight up talking with him. However, Michael persisted. Despite the terrors he had faced so far, he was committed to seeing his task through. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. You work the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long-lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. However, Michael didn't actually go home that night, and when he finally regained consciousness, he found himself in a most precarious position. Ironically, he was now being threatened with the same ghastly fate his father experienced. Shh, be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. The cameras were searching for you but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I kidnapped you. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside. But just barely. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? It's because, dummy, this is the room where they use the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Okay, bring her over. Forward. More. More. Okay, stop. Set it down. Watch the step. What happened to it this time? It just seems like these things can't go a day without breaking down. Who knows? It's always the same, man. Some kind of hardware malfunction. Well, hey, I have to be somewhere in 15 minutes, and this place gives me the creeps. Can we just get this over with? It's all automated. We don't have to be here for it. Just get her on the rollers and we can go.
there's something very important that I've learned how to do over time. Do you know what that is? How to pretend. Do you ever play make-believe? Pretend to be one way when you are really the other? It's very important. But Laura never learns. But I do. They think there is something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Fortunately, Michael is rather durable, and he's okay. He just needs to sleep off that catastrophic springlock failure. You know, the one that crushed his skull just a few hours earlier. As the moon rises, so also rises the tension between scorn lovers. Clara is not my baby. Vlad, you suck. Wait, was that a bad Oh my god, job? that was awful. That was so lame. Clara, like I haven't heard that a million times. Okay, well how's this? I'm taking the car. The joke's on you, it's a rental. Well, the joke's on you. I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Good, I like it warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. How will it all end? The passion, the tension, the intrigue. Tune in tomorrow for the exciting conclusion. Welcome back to your last day on the job. That is, the last day of your first week. Some of the most valued qualities that we like to see in new employees are determination, fearlessness, and a genuine disregard for instinctive self-preservation. Yep, you that's me. You've earned your one-week bonus, which will be given to you in the form of a delightful gift basket, the cost of which will be taken out of your next paycheck. Are you kidding we me? gift baskets containing fruit, nuts, flowers, and of course, the ever-popular cash basket. I, I want the cash. The I, I, give me the cash. Please enter the first few letters of the gift basket you would like to receive. Money. Oh God! Please give me the money. <laughs> I could really use it some seems money. You had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will autocorrect it for you. Thank you for selecting exotic butters. Why is that even an option? Please be aware that there are still two technicians on site today. Try to avoid interfering with their work if possible. Also, feel free to ask them why they are still there and encourage them to go home. Let's check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage. Great. Now let's check on Funtime Foxy. Great! It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Your task today will involve more maintenance work. Circus Baby had a rough day and is in need of repair. You will be required to reach the parts and service room by once again sneaking through Funtime Auditorium. As always, please proceed with caution.
great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Our technicians will take it from there. Can you hear me? Y yes I can. I'm pretending. Remember how I said I could pretend? The cameras are watching. I must be careful not to move. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. I'm broken. I can't be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room soon. But it's not going to fix what's wrong with me. What is bad is always left behind. Will you help me? I want you to save what is good so the rest can be destroyed and never recovered. But you must be careful. Ballora is here, in the room with us. Wait, what? Ballora will not return to her stage. Ballora will not return to her body. You must be careful. You must remain calm and listen to my voice. There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. Good. A hatch should have opened. Take the card that you find inside. Now you must turn back. I will guide you through Funtime Auditorium so you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Put the card into your handheld device, and I can continue to speak to you. Now, press the green button to your left. This will send me to the scooping room. You must follow my instructions in Funtime Auditorium. Ballora is going to follow you. She will try to catch you. I will help you avoid her. She will not follow you inside the scooping room. She is afraid. That... that's not Ballora. Go forward. Stop. Go forward and left. going. Stop. Be silent. She is right in front of you. Don't move. He is here to help, Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora, he is here to help us. Go forward again. Ballora is behind you. She is afraid of the scooping room. She will not follow you. Why do you keep saying Ballora? That, that thing isn't Ballora. Warning, you've entered a highly dangerous area. You have entered from maintenance hatch 1B, reserved for cleaning and repair of the scooper. Entering this side of the room is strictly prohibited by unauthorized personnel. You are in the scooping room now. Funtime Foxy has already been here today. Funtime Freddy has already been here today. Ballora has already been here today. Circus Baby has already been here today. I've been out before. But they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There's nowhere for us to hide here. There is nowhere to go when we look like this. But if 
we looked like you, then we could hide. Wait. If we looked like you, then we would have somewhere to go. You. You don't mean... The scooper only hurts for a moment. Wait. No. Stop. Please. You, you can't do this. Elizabeth. Wait. Elizabeth. Stop, Elizabeth. Please. It's me, Michael. No. <laughs> As the trees sway in the wind, so also do emotions sway between star-crossed lovers. You burned down my house? You call that a well, house? I've gotta it say, like this is by far the greatest I show on television. But you're heartless! Uh. You need to see your son! The baby isn't mine! He ate the cat! Sounds like something he got from your side of the family. Well, how's this? I'm keeping the diamond ring. The joke's on you. I found it in a kid's meal. You bought a kid's meal? Oh, Vlad! Oh, Clara. come on, Cla No, Clara, you can't take this guy back. Not after what he did to you. As the hair on the back of a cat stands up straight, so also does the love between Vlad and Clara stand up against all obstacles. But what about the baby? What about the back child support? Stay tuned next season for those answers and more. to be continued. Right now, click here to go watch my FNAF 6 video that continues this story, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. Exotic Butters. <laughs>